there. That ought to do the trick. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned protection spell. <laughs> now don't touch that toy box if you value your hide. Oh no, the toy chest is protected. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max in the Devil's Playhouse. Last time we finally got here into the tomb and I did a few other things but it got cut off by the recording software because I have terrible luck with it at all times. Anyway, hopefully uh, nothing bad will happen this time. So let's see if we can't open this thing. It's okay. I think it's safe to touch it now. Ah, fudge. I was hoping these two would put up some kind of challenge. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. Yeah, let's do that. So uh, we're going to undo that spell there. But first... Here goes my aura again! I must have that dummy! Oh no! Was that a- Yes, little buddy. It looks like you got your asp. And it's a big asp, too. <laughs> oh no, we've got to grab that asp. Yes, I said it. You heard me. Alright, so, uh, let's take a look around here. Psst! Huh? Over here! You are wanting the devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. And it's Jürgen in the wall. Remember when we ran into him on the train in Chapter 3-ish? Well, in the third reel, sorry. Uh, we were like, hey, you're the one who trapped us in the wall. So, yeah, there's sh some shenan shenanigans that are going to happen. Who? Who did this to you? The moles. They are completely verrucked. Especially the old one. At first he played the kindly grandfather, but then without warning he turned on me like the vicious wild beast and cursed me with bad luck. I tried to flee, but the way out was blocked by a nasty mole woman with a cheesy accent. She threw another curse at me. In my confusion, I blundered into a tripwire and poof! Curse number three! Only here I am. Yikes, three curses, bad luck, uh, vampirism most likely, and now the wall mural thing. Yikes. How do European gent like yourself wind up on a two-dimensional surface like this? I am but a poor student of the antiquities. I came to Egypt in order to make sketches of the tomb decorations. Little did I expect I would become a tomb decoration myself. You know how to break the spell of protection over the toy box? Naturally. During my long confinement here, I have had much opportunity to study the mole magic. Then why can't you undo your own curse? Alas, I have the limited mobility up here. You undo my spell, I'll help undo yours. Perfectly trustworthy. What's your problem? Bad accent? No, I have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitte? What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Samun Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Release the clasp and I am released from the wall, your grateful servant. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. Okay, so let's... Hang tight. I'm good at that. Before we can grab that asp, we have to grab that bust. Oh, and that was easy. And, uh, so we got a couple new places to go here. And last time, uh, before I ended the recording, I went through this door, but I don't want to do that yet right now. I want to ex fully explore this building. This big ugly guy seems to be very taken with the little gold guy. Maybe to an unhealthy degree. <laughs> and what's this niche for? Or niche, however you want to pronounce it. It's a cozy niche. Okay. That security spell is what's keeping us from nabbing the devil's toy box. That's the idea, Sonny. Did I cast that protection spell or didn't I? Hmm, can't remember. Well, no harm in giving it another shot. Interesting. So if we were to change that around, perhaps it would do something else when you try to cast the spell. But that's just a thought. 
fun on my adventure games. They're uh, highlighting that for a reason. Ah, uh, don't do the Indiana Jones thing. I'm free! I'm free! Oh, glorious third dimension! Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! But as you'd guess it... And you're not. So sorry. Gotta run! <laughs> Wait, you said you'd help us land the Devil's Toy Box! Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Just. <laughs> oh dear. There are worse ways to spend eternity. Hey, at least we're not in retail! <laughs> Infidels! Vipers! You have removed the sacred bust of Samon Mac. For your sins, you must remain on this wall. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for how long? For eternity! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> okay, for reals, there's gotta be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity, who, huh? Well... Yeah? Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox. Which no one ever has. Look, I shouldn't say anything, but my friend here, he's the one. The one? You know, the one. Like in the prophecies. Prophecies? Didn't you get some prophecies about a great powerful something or other with a magical thing? Uh, uh-uh. When we get home, I'm gonna have a little talk with my agent. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to use the little pharaoh's room. You'll have to hold it a while. How long? For eternity! <laughs> I still don't get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry to threaten you, but my little buddy here knows every show tune ever written. And unless you take us off this wall, he's going to sing them all for eternity. Give my regards to Broadway. Silence! Aw, because that didn't work. Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> all right. You who raid the Pharaoh's tomb, much deserving of your doom. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm. What the gods deride. Hmm. Bigots. Oh, it's gonna be this, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, let's not do that yet. Racism against gods? Nuh-uh. People who think everything's about them? Meaning me, I suppose. Not even close. Annoying people? Is that it? Huh? Huh? Did we get it? Huh? Guess again. Ch Chick flicks? Nuh-uh. Guys who leave the seat up? Guess again. Short people? Not even close. People who do unflattering impressions of their friends behind their backs? Like who, for instance? Like who, for instance? Nuh-uh. Monsters. <laughs> Guess again. Insufferable phylogistical affectation? Not even close. <laughs> Those damn whippersnappers with their horseless carriages and crystal sets? Nuh uh. Monkeys? Guess again. To cut the cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> Boy, that's a good one. <laughs> never gets old, does it? Yeah, never, ever. And we've still got the bust of Salmon Mac. I knew that whole cucumber thing was gonna come in handy. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I see, so that's the shortcut up here. Okay, so, uh, it's interesting. So, what happens if we, uh, use this handy little niche here? Whee! Uh... What? Oh, okay, that's interesting. So it looks like it makes a path like that. But why we'd want that, I'm not sure. Can we even get back up there? We can! Okay. 
Can I? What? Back again? Didn't you learn your lesson the first time? Listen, I know you're busy being tomb decorations, but would you mind letting us scooch past? We're trying to get to the other side so we can- Impudent jackals! Tomb guardians do not let people scooch past. Listen, I know you're busy being tomb decorations, but would you- We're trying to get to the other side! Impudent jack- Okay. But how do we get both of them to move? Let me cut to the- <sighs> To cut the cucumber. Hmm. We may have to uh, slice this head in half. Because I don't see how we're going to be able to uh, get both of them to move at once without doing that. So let's head in here. And let's see, where are we? Oh, we're right here where we can just go back up. So yeah, we do this. Okay, just checking. Just had to do it once. Okay. Huh. Two doorways. Out! Two doorways! I just said that. The doorway of life? And the doorway of death. Choose a right, and you will pass through to the Chamber of Delight, wherein our greatest treasure resides. Choose a wrong, a wrong, and a mighty scimitar will strike from above and slice you cleanly in half. Huh. <laughs> Proceed, if you dare. Well, I know what we're going to have to do here. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Grr. You were supposed to go through the other door! The other door is the one with the scimitar! You won't be so lucky next time. I'm going to recalibrate the mechanism. You'll have to pass this point again on your way out, and then... Watch out! That's all. You're not allowed to look! I guess it's only fair to give him a second chance. So I'm gonna have to put the, uh, bust there. So let's see, let's go back through. Hey! No littering in the tomb! Oh, now it's reset, so... See the body of Salmon Mok, born to the tomb by the Mole Guardians. They say it was the costliest burial of all time. Now that's what I love about this country. You guys know how to throw a classy funeral. Salmon Mok the Great, at the zenith of his power. Gee, I want to be a god king. Salmon Mok discovers the Devil's Toy Box. The moment that changed the course of history. Looks like we're doing this backwards, but oh well. Young Salmon Mock started life as a humble frog catcher, but fate intervened. Hmm, the Devil's Toy Box. Oh. Were the unwary trespasser may lose his heart or his Hold whole circular right toy system. Hold it right there, buckos! Can't you read hieroglyphics? It's a turn and a leaf. Exactly. Turn and leaf. The two of us want to be alone. We happen to be sharing a super intimate moment. More key, lover boy. Lover boy? It's the dummy! His name is Charlie Hotep. Now, are you gonna keep away, or do I have to shit spot on you? What? Oh dear. Listen, kid, I know your feelings for Charlie Hotep are very, well... Dysfunctional? But I'm going to have to insist you turn him over to my pal here. Charlie and me are soulmates! Right. As if. 
Surely and I have a perfect understanding. Just try and come between us, and I'll put a curse on you that'll curl your toes. We can't just leave. We went through so much to get here. The doorways of life and death, you mean? Right. Dad built that. It's like the post to discourage shooters. As if I need him always watching over me. God, so embarrassing. Your father said something about finding his greatest treasure in here. Yeah, so you found her. But don't start getting any ideas. I've already found my dream boy. I'm yeah. truly happy for all of us. <laughs> so what happens if we decide to just saunter right in? Do you want me to set my asp on you? No, no! Oh, please God, anything but that! <laughs> Some people would say it isn't very becoming for a young lady to curse. Yeah, right. Cursing is only like a completely major part of mole culture. I suppose your dad does a curse too? Ha! <laughs> you don't even want to know! He's got like the most devastating curse in the whole world. The sexo rejecto hex. Hmm. Can you tell us about it without getting us an M rating? <laughs> How'd you like it if the very sound of your voice repulsed the opposite sex? <laughs> Can you imagine? Well then. What's your curse, little girl? The whole scene hex. But I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> Holstein hex? Is that Stay so in, kid. Shut up! I don't know what that means, but let's see what happens if we get close. That's it! You violated my inner sanctum! You! Go get him, Spot! Oh no! Hello. Why uh, can we not... I need that ventriloquist dummy, Samoth! I feel incomplete without it! You worry me, Maximus. Who knew compressing into a can of nuts would be such a useful power? Next time we do it, Samoth, try to keep your feet out of my face. It's hard to believe we're really in Egypt. I thought it would be sunnier. And the snake disappeared. Or it just killed us, okay. Snacks for Charlie and me? Oh, Spot! You're such a good snake. I don't think that's the way the story is supposed to end. Let's back it up and try it again. What? Again? Can't you see Charlie and me want to be alone? So, uh, let's not deal with that. Well, maybe. Let me Go try one more thing. Get Spot! Since we have that power... Yeah, I figured. Oh, okay. I thought we were like decompressed inside him. Tea party? You're the best little snake in the whole world. Well, Charlie, you finally got me alone. Now's your chance to murmur those three little words. Ah. They're out of here. Huh? You! You! See how you like Nefertiti's curse! Wait a minute, how does it go? Oh yeah! Oh, what now? Maximus! Oh my goodness! What can we do here? What do we do? I don't know.
Say something, little buddy. Moo. Whew. He's all right. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Oh, I hate you! You ruined my whole life! Oh, dear. Oh, well. Uh, let me try something here. Oh, not that. He doesn't want us looking while he resets the mechanism. Nice trick! Okay, that didn't help at all. Two doorways. The doorway of life, passageway to paradise. The doorway of death, a swinging blade to slice you cleanly in half. But which is which? <laughs> which is which? Good what? question. Isn't he going to tell us? I have no idea. And I think it's just going to end up being the same thing until we figure out completely. Hey! No lip! Okay, let's try this one more time. Right, if we do that, and I go around and go through here, neither one works. Well, I haven't actually talked to him, have I? Say, buddy. Yes? So, I hear you throw a mean curse. Well, a father's got to protect his daughter's virtue, doesn't he? The sexo rejexo hex makes for quite the deterrent. You'd be surprised how few boys come tomcatting around here. Huh. But don't worry. I only use the curse on fellows she has a crush on. And, well, I don't mean to be cruel, but you're hardly her type. Sweet relief! <laughs> Any other curses we should be aware of? Pop's got a good one. The bad luck whammy. But he never gets riled enough to use it. Your daughter keeps threatening to curse us. Well, she needs the practice. But I'm sure you fellows don't want to experience the Holstein hex. It's utterly devastating. Ha <laughs> we, we, yeah. Anything else here? No? Love to stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. Oh. <laughs> you just smack Max in the face. Say, buddy. Yes? Is that the scimitar there? Over the- Don't look! Don't look! The doors of life and death are supposed to be a surprise! We ran into this mole person back in New York. Kerchief, obsessed with a can of nuts. Natasha! My darling little pudding snout. <laughs> Tell me, what was she up to? Cursing elves, mostly. Ah, still doing what she loves most. <laughs> Answer me something, Pops. Why is it the moles back in New York speak in this funny dialect, and you talk just the same way we do? I I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm completely thrown by your accent. Reminds of me of work. <laughs> Will you please tell your daughter to stop making indecent proposals to us? My daughter? You? It's flattering, of course, but a clear violation of workplace guidelines on sexual harassment. Stop saying that! You're like the grossest guys I've had the unfortunate displeasure to meet. Ever! Indulging in a bit of wishful thinking, eh, fellas? No. Puppy love. Cute, isn't it? Yeah, but I wish she wouldn't get her lip liner all over my fur. Oh, barf! She doesn't sound infatuated to me. Oh, wait a sec. She just can't keep her hands off us. My Nefertiti? What she tried to do to my ears. Woo, I'm still blushing. You are such liars! I hate you! I wish you were dead! <laughs> she doesn't sound infatuated to me. Well, we can change that. She just can't keep her hands off us. My nip uh, What she tried to- You are such- Okay. She doesn't- So yeah, that's just telling us that's giving us a hint. Can you convince the old guy to take down his protection spell and let us have the devil's toy box? The devil's toy box? The treasure we moles have been guarding for 6,000 years? Yeah. No. Hey, buddy. You know anything about an elderly mole man with specs? Sure. That's my pop. He guards the burial chamber. 
All right, so... I'll just stay in chat, but we got a tomb to raid. <laughs> we still have uh, some puzzles to solve here. But, uh... Can we get that toy box? Well, we'll keep trying next time on Let's Play Sam and Max in the Devil's Playhouse. Thank you for watching and have a good day.